Darwinian theory predicts that the accumulating diversity of species should precede the disparity of the higher taxa. Isn't geological succession in systematically reverse order to Darwinian predictions? Yes, that's completely true, and it's acknowledged in such uh, books that have come to the general public as uh, Stephen Jay Gould's Wonderful Life. Uh, Gould puts it very well there. Uh, what you expect from a Darwinian point of view is a cone of increasing um, uh, disparity um, that it, or, or diversity. That is to say, you would start with one form of life, uh, the, the original uh, form that somehow crept out of the prebiotic soup or whatever, and then it uh, splits into two, and the two into four, and, and so on, so that you get constantly increasing um, a, a, a diversity in life. And uh, you should have the species first, and then when you get enough species, you can see that they can be incorporated in, into two different genera, and so on up the scale with the phyla appearing last, uh, that the phyla are the major divisions of the um, animal kingdom. Now, what you in fact get is that the phyla uh, all appear, or virtually all appear, uh, in the rocks of the Cambrian era at more or less the same time, geologically speaking. So you have the basic divisions appearing first. And then some of those remain until today, and some of them become totally extinct. But all of the diversity that you get after that point comes within the phyla. Uh, so what you have to do to uh, save the Darwinian interpretation at all is either just ignore this, which is what is usually done, or you imagine uh, a huge a world of a universe, really, of earlier things that have all been lost, that are all invisible, that there's no evidence that they ever existed, uh, in order to fit this within the Darwinian scheme. Um, and so it's, uh, it's really almost supernatural, in a sense. It's uh, uh, invoking the invisible to... Uh, explain the visible because the visible in itself is totally inconsistent with your theory.